good morning happy monday happy vlogmas day 20 and actually the last week of vlogmas i can't believe it's the last week um it's like flown by and it's also gone slowly and it's been a lot of work and it's also been a lot of fun so if you've been here since the beginning of this thank you and thank you for still being here I should introduce myself in case you are new around here. I am Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. Today I thought I would do a quick painting slash sketch from the photo that I was taking during yesterday's walk. I will insert that here so you kind of get an idea of what I'm thinking of doing. <laughs> Who knows if it'll come out exactly like the photo but um, that's what I'm gonna attempt to do today. So the first step is to decide the size I wanna do this sketch or painting. And I've decided to do an eight by 10, so I need to rip down some mixed media paper. So that's step number one. <laughs> And while I was ripping down the 8x10 size, I decided to also rip down some 5x7 sizes because I don't have any of that. And then up next, step number two, I'm going to apply some clear encaustic medium. I did this really quick sketch with some water soluble graphite and a skinny little paintbrush that'll focus kind of focusing for you anyways but I didn't think to use the dip pen so I think what I'm gonna do is make it a little bit darker and use some dip pens next to experiment a little bit more with those. All right, I'm gonna use a B nib, I believe number three, three or two, I'm not sure which, but one of those nibs, uh, maybe both, <laughs> some sepia India ink, and then of course the um, sketch that I've already started, so. That's the plan. Okay, the ink on here is now dry and I would like to now start putting down some encaustic paint. So that's the next step. I know I don't want to cover up this entire sketch that I did or underpainting with the ink. And so I'm picking out some fairly transparent colors of blue. A few of them are not, and you'll see I add quite a bit of encaustic medium to those when I mix them on the griddle. And up next, I have totally forgotten to put my blue paintbrush down on the griddle and get it warmed up. So I'm just adding some encaustic medium to it and getting it warmed up and ready to paint with. I have decided to swatch some of these blue paint colors out on a little scrap piece of paper that already has some encaustic medium down on it. 
and just to make sure that they're transparent enough to where I, where I think they should be transparent enough to at least. And I'm also going to be adding some clear encaustic medium over the top of this Indie ink, just to give me a little bit more security that the lines won't move around as I add more and more encaustic paint to them. So sit back and enjoy the video. happy with the background I added an image transfer over top of that and so that's that darker those darker black branches that's the image transfer and I'm going to be picking out a couple different brown colors to use and my new favorite encaustic wax writing tool and I need to apologize for the overhead camera angle in the next several shots here I thought this would be a good angle for this wax writer, but it really isn't because the wax writer needs to be held pretty upright. So you really can't tell these fine little lines that I'm drawing in. However, I will link a video. I actually have two videos out where I've used this and that will show you a little bit better camera angles. So again, my apologies for that. I think I'm calling this one for the day good enough and I initially had it going this way obviously but I think I like it going vertical better any thoughts horizontal vertical I'm pretty sure vertical it is anyways I'll zoom in and get some close-ups of the texture from my new favorite tool <laughs> which I can't stop using and then these are the initial um, ink lines that I drew in and you can see that they're really pushed back from the, all of that blue layering of the paint and then the texture and branches up top Alright, so this is where I'm going to leave you today. I do hope you like the video. By now, you know what to do. Thumbs up. It really, really does help me out immensely. Helps me get uh, with other like-minded people like yourself. And if you're not subscribed, consider doing so. That also helps me out a lot. Only four more days of Vlogmas is left. I really can't, still can't believe it. Um, at any rate, I will see you tomorrow for day number 21 of Vlogmas. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.